So in today's episode of Automation Slash Beam and G Drive, we're going to be trying to build the ultimate off-roader in order to escape the police. And folks, stay tuned until the end because the results are actually surprising. So if you want to see more of this style of video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comment section below suggestions for new builds and let's do this. Okay, so today we're going to be designing a horrible truck. So what do we want to go with? Oh dear, that looks like a Chevy Avalanche. That has to be the worst vehicle I think I've ever seen. I think it likes to roll over a lot. But yeah, it looks like we have quite a few options here to start with. I actually kind of like these like 03 range. Like they look a little more truck-like than uh, some of the newer, or I guess the later models here. So I want to go with one of these. I want to keep it a little bit shorter. Like I could go with the single cab, but I like the whole fact that it's got a little bit extra here in the back. So let's select uh, this one here. So obviously for materials, we want to make it nice and light. So of course we're going to go with carbon fiber. I don't know if painting carbon fiber is going to look very good, but this is fine. Okay, so we are going to be doing a completely new engine here. We want this engine to be awesome class. Variant. More like very awesome. So I think last time we went with like a V12. We're going to do like a V8 here. So let's do the V8. A uh, typical truck engine, except for let's go with the most high quality materials here. Uh, stuff that's going to take a long time uh, to make and is very expensive. And uh, I heard bigger is better, so if we just go clunk. Uh, wait, what's the little orange icon for? Is there too much engine here? This is fine. So we want the dual overhead cam. Uh, is five a better number? I'm assuming it is. <laughs> let's go with five. So I had a lot of suggestions uh, last time when I got this screen. So the cam profile, you want it like up towards race, uh, but the compression, making it go really high, doesn't always mean that it's gonna be good. So maybe we'll just go to high and not extreme. Uh, I don't know what a good compression ratio is. Uh, we might have to go in here and play with this a little bit. Okay, so you know we gotta put a twin turbo in here. Uh, I need a big intercooler. Uh, I don't think that fits. Uh, <laughs> Maybe like right here. So I definitely want our boost to be really high. Uh, that might be too high. And let's have quality uh, over everything. That way uh, we hope that it doesn't explode whenever we start it up. So I started with the direct injection fuel system. And then as soon as I started adding like all this stuff, uh, it went a little crazy. And now we're red over here. I think this is the engine bay space. And there's a potential that we can't really fit everything in here. This is okay right what's this engine rated for as far as his rpm limit can we go up to like 12,000? i think 12,000 might be a bit extreme so can we run a little test on the dyno uh let's go and do the automatic test here uh oh why does it sound like that uh okay here it goes and it's gonna rev up all right what's gonna explode on this i mean it sounds oh it sounds fast you know, this is one of the first times I haven't gotten a bunch of red, like, exclamation points telling me that this is dangerous and you should stop. So here we go. We got our truck. This thing needs to be much higher off the ground. I think in Texas it is required that you're at least, like, two foot off the ground. Uh, yeah, this isn't quite it. How do I raise the truck up? Oh, let's go body quality max. You know, I'm kind of starting to lean towards that single cab look because it looks a little meaner now. Uh, you know what? We're going to go with that. Uh, I kind of wanted to give some extra room for like little Timmy in the back, but you know what? Timmy doesn't need to ride in this. You know, now that I look at it, I don't think I'm going to paint the uh, the front a different color. Like that's for like little uh, sports cars and stuff. I think I'm going to go with a solid paint here. And uh, I'm debating on how dull I want it to look. I hate the really high shiny paints, unless it's just the flakes. Oh, it was just the flakes doing that. That actually doesn't look bad at all. I'm going to go with that. Okay, so here we go. Now we can start to like do some stuff here. Uh, can we make the car higher? I mean, it's fairly high off the ground now, but I'd like to jack it up even more. I need to check like what we can do as far as the suspension. Okay, so here we are in the fixtures category. Okay, we got to go crazy here. We want this to look like super awesome. So definitely we got to have like a massive like hood scoop. I think that fits the style we're going for. That doesn't look bad. Okay, grills. So we want something nice and beefy looking. Uh, hmm. Which one of these actually fits a truck? I kind of don't mind that one. Hold on, let's keep going down. Ooh, I kind of like some of these. Hold on. Uh, let's see. What different styles do we have here? This one looks pretty good. Here, let's stick this on here. Let's make it ginormous and see what happens. 
How big do you like your front grill? <laughs> it's just a point where the whole front of the car is a front grill. It's fine. Okay, we're working with something here. I'm probably going to have to go back in and actually adjust this again. But I feel like I need to get like some sort of front headlights on to really get a feel for how this is going to look. Okay, I feel like I can work with these. Uh, oh, those look kind of mean looking. I don't know what they're going to look like once I extend them really high, but it's fine. I don't know. Something's not meshing right with me here. I feel like they should be like taller uh, towards the, the side here. So, I don't know. Something doesn't look right here. I'm not completely sure what it is. Hold on. Let's get rid of those. Uh, I got to find something a little bit bigger. Kind of think we should twist these a little bit. Hold on. If we twist them up, does that help? Uh, I think we need to put a front bumper. Actually, that's not bad from over here. Uh, we need a front bumper, though. Something that's really big. Almost like a big scoop or something in the front. We do have bumper bars. You know, that might be a little bit better for us. Uh, what if we were to stick a big old brush guard on this? Actually, ooh, look at that. Oh, and this is pretty cool. And the one with the headlights in it? <laughs> How do you like your bumper bars? Man, that would clear your lane out and probably the lanes beside you. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that front bumper is obnoxious. This is fine. All right, so we're going to go with that. Uh, I kind of want to add like a big spoiler to the back, but I don't think I could fit one. Is there an option for a bed cover? Uh, I don't know if that's a thing or not. Like, I, I really want to go with another big boy wing on here. Wait, can we strap this to it? Oh, we could put it on the tailgate. How horrible is that? Actually, we can mount it to the middle <laughs> of the truck. Hold on. So we could do this. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the heck? Wait. Which way is that supposed to be aimed? I feel like that's just catching so much wind. I feel like it's supposed to go the other way. Uh, I don't think I like that. Okay, so that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, hold on. Shrink it a little bit. There we go. I don't think that helps us one bit. It makes it hideous, but I absolutely love it. Okay, so I want like a giant, like almost like a diffuser in the back, even though I don't think this actually is going to help anything aerodynamic since it sets so far off the uh, the ground. But I mean, it looks cool though. Han, huh? let's extend that, make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, I spent entirely too long looking at these tail lights, trying to figure out what actually works here for these. And there's not really particularly anything that I like for trucks in the tail light section. So. We're probably just going to have to settle here because I think settling is going to be, you know what? Those are good enough. As you can see, it has a lot of unnecessary aerodynamic devices. It doesn't really make sense, but you know what? We made this thing and uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. So uh, it's got some unnecessary like scoops, grill openings, a uh, huge wing in the back. I at least hope it's fast and it's good at off-roading. I, I kind of... Uh, tailored the suspension towards the off-roading side. Okay, so I've managed to move it up even further. Now the tires kind of look a little smaller, but they feel like they uh, they fit quite a bit better now. Oh man, we made this into a big off-roading beast. Uh, it's gonna be bad if it doesn't run very good. <laughs> All right, so here is our truck. I mean, it looks goofy. Also, there's a hole in the side of it now. I'm not really sure where that came from on the one side. Uh, what's that supposed to be? I don't know. Let's see if it even runs. Also, there's a hole here. It's like something happened during the export because those weren't there before. You know, I must admit the front end doesn't look that bad. Let me know what you guys think. But how does it run? Like, is it good? Uh, oh, hold on. Wait, wait, this is totally like drivable. Also, look at the suspension on it. Uh, the rear wing looks ridiculous. Hold on. This actually turned out pretty good. Uh, okay. I mean, the suspension is really active looking. Oh, it knocked the wing off. <laughs> uh, you're telling me this thing might be usable? Yeah, we'll definitely have to go to probably Utah to do the chase portion. But this is the testing phase where I'm like, all right, do I need to go back into automation like I did last time and fix something? But honestly, I'm not sure if I need to. And look at the suspension. I don't think I've ever made something so efficient. <laughs> it kind of takes off. Uh, is it the rear wing making it fly? Like, this thing gets air. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous. Kind of wish it sounded a little bit meaner, like a little bit more uh, grumbly. But, I mean, this is kind of what you get sometimes with the automation, the Beam and G sounds. Uh, nothing's going to quite sound like some of those Beam and G big old beefy V8s. But, man, 
now I actually have the question of does it really turn good? Like, if we were to go, I don't know, into Utah and actually try to hit some of the trails instead of the open desert, would that work? Because honestly, I I'm not actually uh, mad at this car at all. Like, I can handle it. The last one was a little ridiculous. All right, here we are. We're in Utah. Let's see how this thing handles the trails. Uh, I want to see if it turns really good. Like, it just goes over any bump. Like, there is no problem here. Here we go off the edge. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, and that's going to be painful. Uh, you know, I feel like this was working. And then, yeah, that happened. Uh, and let's try maybe the turning. Uh, does the turning work? I mean, it feels good. It actually doesn't get as sideways as I want it to. So I think it's the traction control kicking in. Which, you know, that was just an option. We don't have to have that. Oh, here we go. Here's the wheel spin. Wait, this thing has really good acceleration and it grips good on the asphalt. Uh, what about the turning? I I'm always kind of curious about that. Is the wing actually helping here in Beam and G? Like, I know it does on the default cards, but I don't know how aerodynamics actually translates across when you put an automation car in here. Like, if I were to add 20 wings to it, would it actually turn better and, like, grip? Because uh, I don't know if this is helping or hurting, but I must say, this works. And this is probably faster than a lot of the cars in Beam and G, especially the trucks. Like, I think this thing would outrun a pre-runner. Like, hold on, let's gas it. Like, look at that. The acceleration's insane. Okay. Well, we have to do it. You know, I actually don't think I'm going to have any issues escaping the police here. All right, so we have plenty of police off-roaders. I don't think anybody's catching us unless we just die, which there's a big possibility of that. All right, let's make sure we have traction control off. Also, listen to the backfires. Oh, that is cool sounding. All right, let's see what we got. I mean, the speed on the asphalt is ridiculous. Watch out. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't clip that last car with my big wing. Hold on, go this way, and then let's see how fast we can go down the highway. Uh, okay, oh, still gassing, still going up through the gears. Uh, 130, okay, gotta let off a little bit. No, what are you doing? Okay, this is fine. Uh, I almost wonder what kind of speed this has in a straight line. Uh, we might have to go to grid map. Uh, I feel like we can get it here. I'm not gonna gas up all the way yet until I'm kind of clear. Okay, there we go. Holy man, okay, about 100 and... 84, 85. Oh, 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 we absolutely destroyed the back of that vehicle. Hold on, does it still drive? Oh, the safety uh, stuff is kicked on. Wait, what? It still goes? Okay, well, we don't have the big wing, and there's definitely something broken. Oh, the right front's flat. What the heck? It's so good. Yeah, there's no way the police can catch us in this. Uh, I'm trying to test, like, the turning abilities, so say if we were to take this to the city streets. But I don't think we'd have any issues. The traction control uh, was actually hurting it. Like, it turns better without it, which uh, that actually isn't too surprising since we get all that wheel spin going. But, man, it's so good. All right, watch out. You know what? We're going to hit the trails here. Oh, well, we're going to hit a Jeep. Hold on. All right, you're just going to press through the side of us. It's fine, buddy. Oh, there went our wing. You know, I'm not going to lie. It actually looks pretty good without the wing. Those back tail lights still throw me off a little bit, but look at this. They're not going to get us here. Come on, go over the rocks. Oh, don't flip. Yeah, that's the only uh, negative has got to be the flipping. I mean, it is a really tall off-roading beast. Uh, but other than that, I'm rather surprised by this. Oh, here comes all the cops. Hello, coppers. How are you guys? So we saw that it's about uh, maxes out at about 184. I do think if you went back into automation and play with the gears even more, uh, it definitely can take it. Uh, so maybe we can get it up closer to 200 miles per hour. But you know what? I'm actually really satisfied with this. I do want to get into more like custom body panels uh, in the future. I know there's ways to edit certain things in automation, which I'm still trying to learn some of that. I've been playing with it a little bit in the my off time, but. Uh, definitely, that's something I want to look at. Oh, that's just so cool. Like, you can get it sideways. And there goes the back end. It still grips pretty good. Uh, but, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.